They're masters at their craft. Combining science, experience, and passion. You gotta hook these two up, right? And the result? Award-winning products that are not only unique, but fun. It uh, starts with the passion for great beer. Making beer is kind of, uh, is really exciting. It's a creative pursuit. It's one where you kind of explore new ingredients and new styles all the time. And, uh, and so we, we just maintain that excitement. Meet Sean Hoyne and Matt Phillips. They're the quintessential beer geeks who've been instrumental in creating a vibrant craft beer culture right here in Victoria. This is indicative of the whole craft brewing movement. We're coming out with beers that have flavor, beers that people enjoy, beers that are unfiltered or unpasteurized. There's no chemicals or preservatives, just beers that taste great, are made locally in small batches, as you can see. And uh, uh, we're part of the craft brewing movement that really seems to have taken hold uh, everywhere. And part of the fun of this industry is how innovative these craftsmen can be, coming up with new recipes, combinations, and styles. Of course, I just had to sample a few myself. With this beer that's kind of fun and different is we took half of it and we left it in a stainless tank and aged it in stainless. The other half we took and we put in some uh, bourbon barrels from uh, uh, down south and it really transforms the beer. And while Phillips is inventing new beers, Sean Hoyne is trying to bring back one of the best <laughs> beers of all time, the Pilsner. Pilsners used to be a thing of beauty before the big breweries got a hold of it and dumbed it down for everybody. Um, we are returning to the way Pilsners were made in uh, Eastern Europe. This tastes exactly like the Pilsner I had in Prague, Czechoslovakia, like 28 years ago, honestly. Nice. Yes, yes. You were six at the time. I'm, I, I love you. <laughs> and that's not the Pilsner talking. Well, maybe it is. You see, yeah. that's the joy of craft beer. It's all about making friends, collaborating, creating a tasty product, and having fun doing it. He was on a visa. Everyone that's, uh, that we meet in the, in, in, that's excited about beer is really, you know, they're fun people. We love hanging out with them. And so, um, so it kind of amplifies the great, you know, beer is great, but it also brings great people with it. So for us, there's, uh, there's all sorts of good stuff happening with it. I love the smells. I love the work. I'm a hands-on guy. I love building things. Um, there isn't a single aspect of this business that I don't thoroughly enjoy. That is good beer. It's never been a better time to be part of the craft beer movement because we love our local food, wine, and beer. 23 years ago when I first started, it was a challenge getting people to try. It's like they would look at it and be like, what is this stuff? And it's not like that anymore at all. What it is is people are enjoying the flavors and the story behind the beer. People like to support local businesses. Enjoying some locally crafted beer, I'm Karen Algersma for The Daily.